Hey folks, in one of my recent videos, I had somebody ask me to go over the steps to setting up their VPS. So I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video showing how to do that. There are just three steps and they're very simple. So we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. As you guys can see, we are on the Chaco Ping website. And it's here we're gonna do the first of the three steps, which is purchase your VPS service. This is one of the services that I use uh, with the uh, Forex Expert Advisors that I'm currently running. And as you can see, as you scroll down, there are four different options here. I was a bit confused as to which one I should be using, so I did write into their support. I told them my specific uh, needs, which was I needed to have three MetaTrader 4 platforms open. I needed to have one expert advisor, or I would be having one expert advisor running on each, and they asked me how many charts um, each uh, MT4 would have open. I told them five on the first two and two on the last. And they told me that they recommended the Chaco two gigabyte plan. But if that sounds like more than what you're looking for or less than what you're looking for, as far as uh, the number of MT4 platforms you plan on having open, you can definitely write in click on support up top or click on sales chat and tell them exactly what you plan on doing. But for me, this right here gives me a little bit of room to uh, kind of grow. Right now I only have two expert advisors that I'm running, but at some point I will be adding a third. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through this. And step number one is gonna be purchase your VPS service. So for me, click on buy for the Chaco two gigabyte plan. All right, and we can come to this page. Obviously, there's gonna be a discount if you choose to pay for the annually. It comes to $14.99 a month, but I chose to go with the $16.99 monthly. And I chose the Windows 2012 R2 Trade Optimized, but they do have two other options. So you can choose whatever you uh, think is gonna suit yourself. Language, English, nothing there. I left that at zero gigabytes. Um, location, mine is New York. Let's go to the next page here. All right, in this page, you're just gonna input your personal information, first name, last name, email, billing address. My, uh, well, this is showing my email address. It should be postal code, let's get rid of that. All right, so your state, postal code, country, enter a password there and then down here you're going to want to input your payment information and then click on complete order all right now that's the end of step one simple enough now for step two you're going to want to wait for the confirmation email and the server creation email so the first email that you're going to get from Chaco Ping will look like this as you can see here invoice payment confirmation and you can see two gigabytes and take note of the date and time up here, November 3rd, 2021, 149 PM. All right. You can see, as we stated, New York, English, Windows 2012. You can see the price, 1699, as I mentioned earlier, uh, username, transaction number, status paid. All right. So the next thing you're looking for is right here. If this is a new order, we need just around 15 minutes to deliver. You can see, remember that time, 1.49 p.m. All right, let's see what time they actually got this over to me. And as you can see, 1.49 to 1.52. So it only took a few minutes for them to actually create my server, get the email over to me with my login details. And as you guys can see here, same thing, Chaco, two gigabyte, and monthly $16.99, and they will, they will have your uh, cr credentials right here. You have your IP, I blacked out mine, your username, and your password. These are just examples that you guys uh, are gonna be able to see. It'll be in a similar format to this. So you have your IP right here, which we'll need momentarily, as well as your username and your password. All right, so like I said, it should take 10 or 15 minutes to uh, get past step two, which obviously is not a long time. All right, so now let us move on to step number three, signing in with the remote desktop connection. And actually, let me get out of this. All right, so we can get there. All right, to get to the remote desktop connection, you're gonna wanna go to the search feature on your computer and just type in remote desktop connection. 
Simple as that. Click on it. All right. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter this information. You'll just come here, copy your IP, and you're going to want to put that right here in this box. And your username will go right here in this box. I should have this blacked out, but if you're going through these steps, this will be blank where it says computer and under username, you'll input that information there. Now, I didn't actually go through and save or save as or anything for me for whatever reason. Once I click connect, it uh, automatically saves it. So I'm sure it'll most likely do the same for you. All right. Next step. Once you click on connect, it's going to tell you to enter your password. All right. And likewise, you'll have that information right here. And after you enter your password, you're most likely going to get this pop up. And what you're going to want to do here, as you can see, we can go over it real quick. The identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to connect anyway? All right. So you're going to click on do not ask me again on this complete on this computer. Excuse me. And you will click on yes. And let's head back over here. All right. So now once you've done that and let me go ahead and come in. Give me one second. All right, so after you've done that, it should bring you to your VPS, as you can see here. And at present, I already have uh, LMFX and CoinX on my VPS. But for you to get that, to get your whatever MT4 broker, all you're going to need to do is you should already have your Internet service. I have Google Chrome on mine. So you'll come onto Google Chrome. You'll go into LMFX.com or whatever your particular Forex MT4 platform happens to be, CoinX, LMFX, whatever it is, you'll go to that and you'll go ahead and um, download the MT4 platform. And once you do, you'll have your MT4 platform here. As you guys can see, this is LMFX. But likewise, once you uh, do that, you can go to Gmail or Yahoo or whatever email provider you happen to be using. And you can go ahead and download the uh, Forex Expert Advisor, or what I personally do is I just copy it from my main computer and then I paste it over into the uh, into the VPS MT4, which is just a simpler way to do things, in my opinion. Anyway, those are the three steps. And again, purchase your VPS service. That was the first thing we went over. The second thing was wait for the confirmation email and server creation email. And lastly, the third thing we went over was signing with the remote desktop connection. All right. And there should be an X at the top of the page. To close out, your remote session will be disconnected and you just click OK. And that is that. And what I like to do is I like to pin the remote desktop at the bottom. So that way I don't have to keep searching for it. So I pin it uh, down here at the bottom that way. I can just click on it whenever I need to and it'll uh, pop up. Anyway, just a quick video. Hope somebody found it useful. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below.